Baruch Ato Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehakol Dehiyeh Bidvaro I'd like to take a moment uh, preface by expressing a karsato to the Perlmans, to Betty and Willie Perlman, sponsoring the Shear this evening, in memory of his dear father, Israel Perlman Yitzchak ben Arye Leib. All of us, Sholom. I want to thank as well Shoshana Shechter, sponsoring in memory of her dear mother, Sonia Flammenbaum, Shane Dombas, Moshe Yitzchak. Halea Sholom, Leilik and Hashem, Shemizach, Bishchus, the Liman Atayra, Shemizach, to a continuous, tremendous Aliyah, and Hashem, Gan Eden, Shamayla, Mechayo, Lachayo, Beiz Hashem, Yisbarach. See, here we are, Parshas Emor, with Siat and Shemaya. Uh, Parsha Semer, of course, one of the centerpieces contained on the pages of Parsha Semer, all about the Moadim. We might be introduced to the Sholosh Regolim and Parsha Mishpotim and Sefer Shmos. We'll have it again. Parsha Kesis and the Ramban explains why the necessary repetition of the Sholosh Regolim Tochel Gili Bashana twice in one Sefer. Then, of course, we have Vayikra in the middle of Chamisha Chum Shaytaira. We have Parsha Semer revolving in large part around the Moadei Israel. We'll have the Indian of the Carbonus that pertain to the respective Chagim. That'll be in the pages of Pinchas and Sefer Bamirbar. Then, of course, the Mishnah Taira, the expected Chazorah, and that'll be in the pages of Parshas Re'eh. So we have the Moadei Yisrael. And out of all the Moadim, we know that the one that generically is called a Chag. In a sense, they're all Shaykh to the term, the appellation of a Chag. They're all Eloshan like the Nitzim writes in Hemagdavar, Vayocho Gli Midbar. The idea of Rikud in a Macholos of a circle and dancing, it's a time of celebration there, Yemei Simcha. But the one that stands out as the Chag is the one that Pe'etzim is called Zman Simchaseinu, and that's the one Chag. Hence, Rosh Hashanah Tesayin Amalaf Bechag Nidon and Alamayim, the one that genetically is called the Chag that is Sukkis. So let's tonight, with Siyat and Ishmael, talk a little bit about the name of this Yontif we're here reading, me reading about Chag Sukkis. Now, as the Meshach Chachma points out, even in the context of the Sholdos Regolim, we knew it as what? As Manim that were Mukushar uh, to the Tkufa Sashonin, an agrarian agricultural society. So the Zman of Simcha revolved around Chodesh over the time of planting, in the time of harvesting, in the time of Chag Osif. As the Mesha Chochma beautifully points out, we have Chag Sukkis, like the Gros says, not connected, not corresponding to the initial Anani Kovid, but rather to the return of the Anani Kovid. And that's the idea the Gros writes in his Perish and Shir Shir Perk Aleph and Posig Dalit. We're not celebrating and answering the Kasha of the tour. Why in the world do we celebrate? Chag Yosukis and the month of Tishrei. We left Mitzrayim in the month of Nisan. For the tour, let's celebrate a Sukkis. That's when we were Zochah Tanane covet. Why is it not in the appropriate time? Writes the Vilna because we're not celebrating the initial enveloping of Klai Yisrael Ayadei, the majestic, mystical, miraculous clouds of glory that none of covet. We lost it with Chet Egel. When did we get it back? On Tesvav Tishrei. And when we started collecting for the Mishkan, and we started putting up the Mishkan as the Tikkun for Chet Egel, that's when we got the none of back, and that's the real none uh, of that we want to commemorate. So when we paskin, as the tour does in the beginning, Yochus Sukkot Archaim, and Simon Tafrei Shchafei, we paskin the Shita of Rebel Yezer, and the Machlokis, the Bani Minala, from and base in the first parak of Sukkah. We have Sukkis. Why are we sitting? Laman Yedid or Sekim Sukkis or Shafti. So we have a big Machlokis in the Mephor Shemik or Rashi, the Ramban, and the Sforno, the Rashbam, Machulay, Kliyok, or how exactly we're going to learn the Sukkim. We pask in Rabbi Leosir that it's Kenegan on an Ekova, not Rabbi Akiva Sukkis Mamish. It's Kenegan on an Ekova. The Maratzchias is a beautiful shtickle proving the different sheetas. The Mechilta has a, an opposite Girsa, various Girsos in the Gemara. Kaponim, the tour spouses, the Shita of Allah, when you're sitting in the sukkah, you're thinking about Anani Akavid. But which Anani Akavid? The Gros is here to tell us not the initial placement of Anani Akavid when the Yidin left Mitzrayim. It's rather after we lost it. Then we have what? The ultimate level of Ritzoy. Hence, in the Gros, Siddur, and the Isha Yisrael. Atav Chatan Mikol Amim is a reference to Pesach when the Eved chose us amongst all the nations of the world. That's the Zman of the Bechira. Then we had a half dozen who had the Eved to demonstrate the unparalleled love for Klal Yisrael, giving us the greatest Matan in the history of the world. Kilach Katov and Asati Lachem Ein Tov El Torah. That's the mission and Avos and Vabeis the Gemara and Brachos Tafei Ein Tov El Torah Shenamar Kilach Tov and Asati Lachem that demonstrates and manifests the unbridled Avod that the Eved has for Klal Yisrael. But then what we 
lost the Taira, Shvirus Alucha Shiva Sabatamas, Mishnah Tainus Chavam and Aleph, Nishtabru Haluchos, and with that we lost an Anna Kovid, but what Chemla Yasirat Sisabonu, the ultimate demonstration of a Ritzui, you can have a husband and wife who get into an argument. What really highlights emphatically that Ava, when somebody messes up, the husband messes up, and the wife decides to forgive the husband, that reinforces that unbelievable love. That's not simply a Haftos under that Srat Sisabonu. That's when we messed up with Chet Egel, and it was like the Kala rebelling against her Chos and Bashas the Chuppah. Then we did the Chuva, that's Chet Egel, uh, expiated and atoned for Ayadeh. The Asi is Benia Samishkan, and we started building the Mishkan on Tezvah. That's when we had the return of the Nene Kovat, and that demonstrates the Ratzisa Bono. That's the highest level, and that's Keneged Chagasukas. That's the idea of the Chemli Yaseira Chamal Talenu, the Gron is Perish and Shir Hence, Ramea Simcha says in Sefer Shemos, we know Chag Asukis, always in the agrarian sense of Chag If it's the time to, of garnering and of gathering in all the grain. When does it shift to Chag Asukis? Only after Parshas Kisisa, only after Chet Egel, only when we made our Tikkunim. The Hainu in the beginning, Chag Shavuos already in Kisisa, shifts from Chag to Chag Shavuos. But Pesukis is only an Anani covered. Which Anani covered? If it's connected to Anish Anani covered, then the name ought to have been Chag Asukis, right? So Shachokmas are ayat to the gra. Zok to meyah simcha. It's only called chaga sukis. Only after we had chaytag. Only when we get to parshas emor, then it's no longer called chaga osif. It's branded the choice appellation of chaga sukis. Can I get the sukkah, the enveloping embrace of the anana covered as are to the gra and his parshan shir shirim and olive dalit. So let's take a look at the Pesukah. We have, it's called what? It's called the Yantav of Sukkis. Achag is Sukkis, Shivas Yevon Lashem, the Sukkis Teshvu. So which one is it? We have sitting in a Sukkis, and yet it's called Masech Sukkah. So what's going on here? The Chayra, it's a mitzvah of sitting in a Sukkah. So which one is it? Loshin Yochid or Loshin Rabbim? We know this question has to bother us. Taisus discuss and our Reb Sochem Tzari Tzes of Eis. It's good. It's the end of a Pesach. So we talked many times about Pesach versus Chagamatzah. So we spoke about the Gra and Rav Tzadik Cohen and the Kedusha Slevi and many other different has Beirim had to explain the Cheskuni already was showing him. Talk about the conscience of Chaga. Pesach can get Chagamatzis Psochim because we had Pesach Rish and Pesach Shani. Uh, why is it Sukkis? We're sitting in a Sukkah. So call it Sukkis. Uh, call it Chaga Sukkah. Which one should it be? Writes the Bnei Yisachar. The Heilig Adin of a Rebbe. Uh, writes the Bnei Yisachar in his Mamorim on Chodesh Tishrei Yemaim Rates and Os Aleph. He says, L'chaira, it's all about the sukkah. If it's all about the sukkah, sitting in a sukkah, frek the Bnei Yisachar, why do we call it Chag HaSukkah, Halosh and Rabbim? To which he responds with two tirutzim. All right, the Bnei Yisachar, number one is, we have the Gemara and Davav Amud Beis. How many walls do we have in the sukkah? We need to darshan what? Besukis, besukis, besukis. So once we have all these different roshes of many sukis of different diyukim of talking about the sukkah several times, and that's what we refer to in his chaga sukkah. So he says, "La asalovo, Hashem is going to be sitting klayisol in various sukkahs, and everyone's going to have their own sukkah, and everyone's going to be nichleb chupasa shochavero." Since there are going to be so many different sukkahs, yes, we bechina achas kola Yisrael yeshu besukah achas mitzat sheni. Everyone sitting in his own chupa in his own sukkah. Orishal of Yosin. So that's the Loshin Rabbim. Two answers in Bnei Yisachar. The Smichas Achomim. Rabbi Naftali Cohen said, Naftali Cohen said, "Can his Hagdama to his Kedusha Bracha Maseches Brachas?" He takes it a different way and Daf Mem Beis. Of the smichas chachamim, he says, really, it should have been chagasukis loshin rabim. Not like the bnei yisrael. So the pasuk says it's called chagasukis and lechayra kenegan anane kavit. We had seven anane kavit, so it's expected that it would be loshin rabim. He turns it the other way. Why is it called masechas sukkah loshin yochid? To which he says, we want the raya like the arizal and priyats chayim that it's called sukkah to tell us what sukkah sam of vav chafei gematria ninety one. What's ninety one? The tziruv of havaya and adnus havaya is gematria twenty six. Adnus 
Tosis, Aleph, Dalo, Nun, Yud, is Gematria 65. 65 and 26 is 91. Adds Rav Yitzhak, Isaac, Hofer, and his Droshes, Siach, Yitzchak. Uh, we know based on Tikkuni Zohar that Adnu 65 is Gematria Heichal. So what is the Sukkah? Sukkah, Gematria 91. That's the Loshen Yochad of Sukkah equals Heichal Havaya. Heichal Hashem. You go into the Sukkah, you're going into the Loshen of the Zohar and Parsha Semar. That Tzela, the Meyam Nusa, the Tzela Vamuna, the Phineas Daiti, of course it's the Tzela Vamuna, because the Shorosh of Vamuna is Aleph Mem Nun, Amen, Amen, Gematria 91. That is Gematria Sukkah. That's why it can't be Sukkah Tachas Elon. Elon's Gematria 91. You already have your 91. You can't have a Sukkah Tachas Elon. So Sukkah is 91. Amen, Tzela, the Meyam Nusa. Amen is Aleph Mem Nun 91. The Tzela of Havaya, Nanus. Anus 65, based on Tikkuni Zohar, is Gematria Heichal. You go into the Sukkah, you're going into the Heichal Hashem. And Rav Yitzchak has a chavr is a beautiful remez because what is Sukkah? Sukkah is Sama Vav Chafei. The Osios Chit is the external letters of Sukkah. Sama Chanei equal Gematria Heichal. Heichal is my bias, the bias that contains within the Osios Panimi is the internal letters of Vav and Chaf. Gematria 26, Gematria Shem Avayis. So when you look at the word Sukkah, you're looking at the Sama Chay, at the Heichal, at the bias, the external letters containing therein the Vav and the Chaf. And that is the Bechina of the Havaya, the Heichal Hashem, that's Maruma subtly alluded to in the very word Sukkah. So we have Sukkah Loshen Yochet, Sukkah Loshen Rabbin, Lafini is Daiti. Lachar, it's very posher to why we have the shift. And why is it for Sukkah Loshen Rabbin? Because we have a Machlekes, Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Lozer, and Sukkah Yeral from Basis. It can I get Sukkah Anon and Kavit? Or Sukkah, uh, Sukkah Mamish? We pass in Allah Lamaisa, Rabbi Lozer, and Orchaim, and Tur Tafresh Chafei, like Rabbi Yeliezer. Abur Lamaisa, Elav Elav, Dilkim Chaim, of course, they're both correct. And that's what the Chayot. In the cloud, Kuf Mem Vav. He has a Hezbo the Rokeach and the Eli Yarab, and Hezbo the Nitziv and Emek Dovrim, but Mibar Perk Yud, and his Marome Soda and Sukkah Yud Aleph and Beis, they all have a different Hezbo and had a Mikai in both Shittas. When they traveled, they had an Anir Kavan, when they had Shas Chaniyos, and that's when they had Sukkah's Anani Mamish writes in Nitziv. Many different answers, but they're both correct. We had Sukkah's Anani HaKavan, and we had Sukkah's Mamish. So we had two types of Sukkah's, the Fianius Daiti, Mamela the Yotib of Chaga, Sukkah's is expected. Without getting into the Yisoscha, without getting into Smichas Chachomim, the Phineas Daiti, Mamish a portion of Mahalech. It's Chag Sukkis. Why? Because it celebrates sitting in two types of Sukkis. It's the Sukkah of Rabbi Akiva Sukkis Mamish. It's the Sukkah of Rabbi Eliezer Anani Akavit. Hence, Loshan Rabbim Sukkis Chag Sukkis. Why do we call it Masech HaSukkah? And not Masech HaSukkah, because the Masech that doesn't talk about Alochas, about the Nanah Kavit. We don't have Alochas in the Nanah Kavit. That's the Eberster's realm and our domain. What do we focus on? Sukkah Shei Gevola Malam Yasvam. We're focusing on our Sukkah. We're not addressing both types of Sukkahs. We'll make a brief reference to Nanah Kavit. But the Masech that revolves around what? In the Olam HaMaisa, the Sukkahs of Mamish. We're talking about the dimensions of our actual Sukkah. So, let's get Shmak. Chag HaSukkahs. Can I get Rabbi Kiva? And those of the Masech that expectedly is called Loshen Yochid because we're only addressing one type of Sukkah. And that's why it's so Gishma because now we have the Ramaz of the Moshul of the Gra. What does the Gra say? Why is it Sukkah? Sama Chofen Hei. We pass in Vav Amabes. We have Machlekes Reb Shimon and Chachamin. We know that we can have a Sukkah of Dalit the Fanus. We can have a Sukkah of Gimel the Fanus. We can have a Sukkah the way we pass in Alibah the Chachamin. Shtayim Kilchos and Shlisha Safilu Tevach. Thus we have the Samach, the all fully enclosed four walled Sukkah. The Chof is the three walled Sukkah. And the hey is the Shtaim Kyochos and the Shlisha Safi Tefach. In addition, we have a Mordic Remez of the Mara Kohen. That's the Horus or Rabbitzala Kohen from Vilna. He says another remez. He says, what do we have? Samech. Samech is a reference to the height. The height of a sukkah is yutfachit. Minimum sukkah. That's based on an alpha of the Mishnah. Yutfachim. Now we pass in base. Hello, that's menachas from a from a base. A tefach is six fingers. Shis, six. six. Uh, that's what we hold. Samech is um, 60 yards bows. A tefach yutfachim. A tefach is the width of six fingers. A tefach sochik. That's 60 yards bows. That's the marumas and what the height of yutfachim is marumas in the samech. The Chaf, it can't be Lamala, may Esrim, Amma, Gematria Chaf. And the He is a reference, right? It's the Marakoi to Shtaim Kochosan, or Shlisha Safilo Tavch. We have that all in Samach, Chaf He. I, why is it Samach Vav Chaf He? Never in all of Tanakh is it spelled Samach Vav Chaf He. We'll have the Vav between the Chaf and the Saf, but we never have this, a Vav between a Samach and a Chaf. And yet, in all the Mishnayis and all the Gemara, the Tanam, the Amaram, the Rishainim, we always talk about the Sukkah Samach Vav Chaf He. So, this is you do with the Karemas of the Gro. The Gro told us, Tamidim, 
I want everybody to go out and memorize the Masechta. One Talmud came back, said, Rebbe, I memorized, how long did it take? A Talmud of the God to memorize Masechta. Three days? Three days to memorize Masechta. Comes back to the girl, says, Rebbe, I memorized Sukkah. Ah, nun vav, based in Nunvav. He says, really? He says, how many cases of Sukkah Kshiras do you have in the whole Masechta? He says, Rebbe, I don't know. I have to go through the Masechta. How many cases of Sukkah Psulas? How many times does it mention Rova's name? How many times does it mention Abayi's name? That's what it means to learn Sukkah, right? After, when the Ramah says that right after Yom Kippur you go and you start building the sukkah. The girls sat down with the harus and they start learning. Gemara she taisa schasring sukkah. Says Rabbi, we have to build the sukkah. He says, how can you build the sukkah until you learn the mesechta? First, you got to put the pegs in the ground. First, you put in the ateid. How do you, you put in the, the yosef? How do you build? You got to know the mesechta. You got to build it with the learning of the mesechta. <laughs> Gross, and that's what it means. Kiss from Eluach Libecha. To know the Masechta means you got to have it on your fingertips. Kiddush and Lama Naman Aleph. Kiss from Eluach Libecha. Vishina to Nechashim Chodon Mephi Chashim Yishal Chodom Dabra Al Tegam Gimel Atan Al Liyad. How many cases Sukkah Shev? The Gross says it's an easy way to remember. Sukkah spelled Sholim Sama Vav Chafei is Gemacho 91. There are 91 cases of Sukkah Shevers in the Masechta. But when you make it Sukkah Chaser and take out the Vav, 91 minus 6, 85. There are 85 cases of Sukkah Psulas throughout the Masechta. It's already Marumas in that word. So that's already the villain going. You have it all already in the Samach, the Vav, and the Chof, and the Hey. Aye, but it's never spelled Sholem. So why do we spell it Sholem? I mean, it's the famous Aura and the Hashmatas of Shlomo calling me villain and the Cheshik Shlomo and it's a ghost in the back in the Masechta. He says there's only one time in all of Tanakh that it's spelled Sholem. Where in Tehillim? Kapitol Ayin Vav and Pasuk Gimel. Vahi B'Sholem Sukkah Umanosu Litziyan. Umanosu Litziyan. You know when there's going to be B'Sholem Sukkah when Hashem Sukkah Samach Vav Chof Vav. The only time in God's Tanakh it's spelled with the Vav Sholeh. When we talk about Manasseh Ratzi, when Hashem returns to you, Sholeh or Akaidesh, then the Sukkah is going to be Sholeh. That's the Hillam I and Vav Gimel, the Sukkah Delosid. That's why the only time we talk about a Sukkah being Sholeh is on Friday night on Shabbos, which is Main Olam Haba. On Friday night and in Leil Yontif and Leil Shabbos, what do we say? Ufro Selenu, instead of Shomer Amo Yisolad in the end of Ashkevenu, we shift and we transition to what? Ufro Selenu Sukkah Shulomecha. When? Only on a Shabbos and Yontif, which are my end. The loss and main olam haba. Brochus and Zion are base. Shabbos main olam haba. Then and only then can we talk about the first thing of Sukkah Shlomecha. That is, Vahi Bisholim Sukkah. And Manasseh Batsi. And that's going to be the Sukkah de Lassa. That's going to be the Sukkah of the future. But let's close with the Gaval de Garemes. In the Sefer by Repesson, Limtso Cheshman, Amor de Garemes. So, Abay Sai will close with this Gaval de. We've been talking about tonight that we have the Sukkahs, we have the Sukkah. We have a Sukkah spelled Sholem, Sukkah, Sukkah spelled Chasa. We have 91 in Sholem and 85 is Chasa. So he says, Gavaldik, we have two sheetas. Rabbi Akiva says, Sukkis Mamish, and Rabbi says, Sukkis Ananiya Kovit. Asa writes, Repesin in the Sefer, Limtso Cheshman, he says, Shamati. He doesn't give us the Makar, but he says, Let's make a Cheshman. Klai is on now again, this Toli and Chiluka Deus, according to Ramanasha Klein and Mishnah Lochas. And the Chelak Yid Aleph Simon five fourteen and Tufku if you Dalit he learns not like the Yemri Yemes and his Likutim in the back of the Likutim and the Yemri Yemes you haven't Tufku Yid Aleph on the base he says that we started with Sukkis Mamish and then we were Zeichet to be Maori the Surus to delay and then we got the Nene Kavit but a Menashe Klai the most Mefarshim understand right when we left Mitzrayim already then we had a Nene Kavit so we had a Nene Kavit being Malavis scoring us out of Mitzrayim when did we lose the Nene Kavit by Chet Ego and the Shabbos Lucas we lost a Nene Kavit when did they come back on Tesfav of Tishrei and that's the grown Shir Shirim and Olive Dalit. So it comes out Givaldic. Klai so leaves Mitzrayim a test of Nisan. Test of Nisan until the end of Nisan is 15 days. Chodesh Iyer is Mali, that's 30 days. That's 15 and 30, that's 45. Chodesh Sivan Chaser, that's another 29 days. That gets us to 74 days. And then you have the 17 first days in Chodesh Thomas, that's 91 days. How many days did we have on Nonia Kovid? Sukkah Sholem. We had Sukkah Sholem on Nonia Kovid for 91 days. We left Mitzrayim on the 15th day of Nisan. To the end of Nisan, that's 15 days. Chodesh Iyer is another 30 days. And Chodesh Sivan is another 29 days. The first 17 days of have Chodesh Thomas until Shvira Saluchas and then up it's 91 days so when we left him in Tzvayim we had a Sukkah Sholem of Ananiya Kovit for 91 days Gavaldi that's Masukah so 
Shabbati. That's why it's spelled Shole. But now what? Now we lost the Ananiya covenant on Yud Zayin Tammuz when we had Shvira Soluchas. Now let's do the Cheshmer. So the 17th day of Tammuz until the end of Tammuz is another 12 days. Then you have Chodesh Ah, which is Mole. Add another 30 days. That's 12 and 30. That's 42. El and Chosers. Add another 29 days. That gets us to 71 days. Then add 14 days in the beginning of Chodesh Tishrei until we got the Ananiya covenant back on Tesh from Tishrei. And that is what? 71 and 14 is 85. Comes out Gemolik. We have 91 days where we had the Sukkah of Ananiya covenant. And then we had 85 days in between when we lost the Ananiya covenant on Yudzai and Tammuz until we got it back on Tesh from Tishrei. 85 days where we only had Sukkah Smamish like Rabbi Akiva. And now like Rabbi Akiva Sukkah Ananiya covenant. So we had both days Eilu Eilu Del Kemchayim. We had 91 days of a Sukkah Sholim of Bechina Sananiya covenant. And we had 85 days of Sukkah Smamish when we lost the Ananiya covenant. And that's why we have Sukkah Chaser and Sukkah Sholim. We have two types of Sukkahs Eilu Eilu Del Kemchayim. Both Shittas are correct. Let's be Zaychet to the ultimate Sukkah Sholim with Monal Sibetzi and Rabbi Yitzchak called Tzedek. Hey Rav Yamein Amein, have a wonderful night. A Gavaldi Gavachai, Rechanani Menkash Omer. Rotzak Nishvok Zayi Yisro